I know you're gonna dig this. Just a few observations here that you can deal with, disregard, or take that for data. Here's what the Golden State Warriors figured out about Cleveland Cavaliers forward Kevin Love's inability to both shoot consistently and defend during the NBA Finals, and it's why Love may need to go if the Cavs are going to grow. Can't hide love, can't hide love, but I bet you I Okay, class is in session. A little vocabulary lesson for you. Today's word is super team. Super team, which you get from bypassing the NBA draft to assemble a roster with at least three players of all-star caliber. It's not illegal. The rules allow it. Technically, it's basketball. It's just not hardcore hoops. What in the world was De'Aaron Fox talking about the other night? Making it sound like Kentucky coach John Calipari played a pretty big part in him being a lottery pick in the NBA draft. Listen, one and done guys like Fox, college basketball coaches can't take credit for their development. I mean, as great as Duke University coach Mike Krzyzewski is, to say he's the reason one and done forward Jason Tatum was the number three overall pick in the draft is to say that one and done North Carolina State University point guard Dennis Smith Jr. was groomed by Coach Mark Gottfried to be the number nine overall pick in the draft. And that's before Athletics Director Debbie Yao fired Gottfried's behind. Now, Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year Justin Jackson? Playing three seasons for the North Carolina Tar Heels? Getting a national championship out of the deal? Then becoming the 15th overall pick in the draft? Hey, that's Tar Heels head coach Roy Williams all day, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Look, at least give Conor McGregor the benefit of the doubt with all of your talk about the man not having a chance in Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s arena. I mean, and think about that. He's stepping into Mayweather's arena, not the other way around. That's home court advantage for a guy already regarded as the best boxer to ever do it. That's like Kevin Durant joining the Golden State Warriors, turning a great squad into a super team. Yet, If NBA super teams are the antithesis of real basketball, then how come Mayweather doesn't get more criticism about his long-distance fighting style? Technically, it's boxing, but we want brawling. Ah! 